Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies portal for SCPM. We are on a mission to be doing every possible MCQ. First step in that was to complete every possible question, whether it is a case study based uh, MCQ or it is a standalone one from the module. That is one thing that we all have covered. All our videos for each and every question of the module are already there on my uh, YouTube channel. I would request that you watch those things first. So therefore your concepts are all clarified. Okay, because with every MCQ, we have done the revision, we have done the concepts, everything, the practical examples, everything. <clears throat> so do that thing first and then start to be watching all these videos of the questions from the board of studies portal in board of studies portal there are ample number of questions we stole few questions no we stole all the questions from there and uh, then we are making these videos these are for your help so therefore whatever you all see in exams you would have seen the video of that so that will help you in all your preparations two things if you still require some help then our telegram id is at the rate agent please feel to write us write to us over there and uh, in case you wish to be enrolling for the complete course link is there in the description below kindly enroll for it let's start it off we are on to chapter number six we have completed five chapters here before that so now it's chapter number six that is basically your decision making your relevant costing all those things okay so let's see what question we all have today S Limited is engaged in manufacturing activities. It has received a request from one of its important customers to supply a product which will require conversion of material M, which is non-moving item. Now, non-moving item will mean what, beta? Non-moving item will mean that if this order would not have come, this material would have been sold because it has got no use. Okay. Example, say in my house, Say that I purchased a uh, jaggery, okay, say a month ago and I just kept it in the fridge. It is of no use to me. So therefore, it is non-moving item. When I purchased it, I thought it will be of some use, but it is of no use. So therefore, that is whatever is meant by non-moving. Okay, the following other data is available. Book value of M is rupee 60. So when you had purchased raw material M, it costed you 60 rupees. That is whatever is meant by the book value. See, your financial accounts is done on historical cost basis. Okay, so you always record your original purchase cost. Realizable value of material M is rupees 80. That means if you sell material M to somebody else or in the market, okay, then you'll be getting 80 rupees. Replacement cost of material M is rupees 100. What does that mean? If you go to buy material M from the market today, it'll be costing you 100. This information was all about material. Now for labor, there are two paragraphs. First one I'm reading right now. It is estimated that conversion of one unit of M into one unit of the finished product will require one hour of labor. Okay. Labor at present is paid at the rate of 20 per hour. Other costs are as follows. So therefore, for one unit of the product, one labor hour is required. You pay the workers at the rate of rupees 20 per hour. Keep this in mind. One more paragraph will be coming soon. Other cost details are as follows. Out of pocket expenses, 30 rupees. Allocated overheads, that is 10 per unit. Okay. The labor will be redeployed from other activities. It is estimated that temporary redeployment will not result in loss of contribution. So the employees that you all have, okay, the labor that you all require, you already have workers who are working for something else. Okay. Now those workers say that will have some extra time with them. We will tell them come and work over here. Okay. For this particular order. Now, do remember the second line of the question. It has received a request from one of its important customers to supply a product which will require blah, 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 blah. So therefore, for this order that we all have got, we require workers. Okay. Now, workers are working somewhere else. Might be they all have some spare time. I'll tell those guys, please come and work over here. That's it. Okay. But one small thing. When they will come and work over here, okay, then in that case, there'll be no loss of contribution. No loss of contribution means nothing over there will get sacrificed when they start to be producing this thing. So that's why I was saying this particular thing that those guys might be having some idle time. How did I come to know about that? Because there will be no loss of contribution. See, if they were producing something, if they are busy, okay, and then I tell them to come and work over here for this particular product, then whatever product they were producing before the contribution from that will be lost no so therefore that will become opportunity cost okay but now such thing will not happen 
and further one more line is there the employees to be redeployed are permanent employees of the company see if workers are permanent employees of the company you no know, it is something like this that uh, i tell my workers that uh, i will pay you say 50 rupees an hour and i will guarantee you for 100 hours in a month it is something like this these are my permanent employee they have to be paid now for those 100 hours okay but then those 100 hours might not be getting used they might be having some spare time no i tell them in that spare time please come and work over here okay this is whatever is the story i don't want to be seeing the next sentence because else i'll reveal the answer the minimum price in rupees to be charged from the customer so that company is not worsen off by executing the order will be so therefore the minimum price is always your cost here so therefore let's try to find out our cost so our cost will be how much okay they have given you four options it is rupees 90 it is rupees 110 it is rupees 120 it is rupees 140 okay so let's examine the question once more now broadly there are four expenses with me material labor out of pocket expenses and allocated overheads okay these are the four expenses which are there so whatever you all see right now i have only done the bold for the material it's simple if this offer see you are trying to find out relevant cost for this offer okay this offer that you all have got right now so tell me one thing if this offer would not have come okay what you would have done with material m sir it was of no use i would have sold it for how much 80 rupees now don't sell use it if you will use it you will lose rupees 80 whatever you will lose that will become your cost okay so therefore for material m my relevant cost will be in this case i think so rupees 80 that should be the answer okay but this is only first cost that is material let's try to look at the next element next element in this case will be labor now there are two paragraphs but i have already discussed see for one unit of this product you require one hour of labor workers will be paid at 20 rupees per hour but these guys are my permanent employees they would be guaranteed for some number of hours whatever are those hours i don't know in the question but suppose it is say 100 so therefore i have told my workers i will pay you 100 hours at the rate of rupees 20 whatever happens whether there is work or no work i will pay you for 100 hours suppose in this case those guys were busy say for 70 hours 70 hours at the rate of rupees 20 you will pay them 1400 okay remaining 30 hours in any case are idle they are sitting idle over there i tell them don't sit idle this new order has come work for that now if they are going to be working for that will i be paying anything extra no why because in any case they were idle i had guaranteed them for 100 hours and whatever idle hours they have that is still within those 30 hours only okay of idle hours that those guys have so therefore from my pocket in any case 100 hours had to be paid at 20 even if they work for this order i will still pay 100 hours at the rate of 20 i'm not going to be paying anything extra over here so therefore there will be no extra labor cost over here okay so therefore after material your relevant labor cost should be nil over here okay there will be no extra labor cost okay one thing beta this is not financial accounts financial accounts is useless we are trying to do decision making what is your correct cost for decision making we are trying to be doing so if you are a businessman you will think nil if you are a accountant you will start to be thinking sir 1 hour at the rate of 20 but beta that in any case you are supposed to be paying that in any case you will pay now also so therefore your extra cost is 90 rupees because of this order okay let's go over to the next thing too easy out of pocket expenses 30 now because of this order because of this order you will incur rupees 30 extra that becomes relevant cost for you so therefore directly this is the answer beta out of pocket expenses will be in this case rupees 30 okay let's go over to the next thing next thing in this case is allocated overheads now i have told so many times do remember overheads are by default of the company if they are given for a product by default we think these are apportioned overheads okay if they give specific overheads to be incurred because of this order then it is a different thing but then it is given these are allocated overheads means kind of apportioned overheads overheads rent is not incurred for making one unit rent will be getting incurred only it might be apportioned absorbed charged to a certain unit because of your fundas of absorption costing that you all have done in c inter but just because you charge something 
in a accounting way to anything that doesn't mean that you are incurring because of that yaar yeah? okay so therefore in this case my extra overhead cost to be incurred is going to be nil over here that's it all the cost are done let's total it up so therefore total relevant cost or the minimum price okay is going to be 80 plus nil plus 30 plus nil so therefore it should be 110 so out of the four answers i guess correct answer should be number 2 that's it from my side for this question this is the qr code for the playlist which has all the questions of mcqs from your module whether they are stand alone or they are case study based questions do check them out that will give you good insight about all the subjects also whereby the revision and all those things will happen okay that's it from my side just one thing ca is part of life it is not life you try to plan your ca studies in a way so therefore they do not become a overburdening thing for you i'll see you all next time in another lecture on some other day take care guys bye